You always correct my intro, so is there something you want me to say specifically? I was just gonna say, today just, we're gonna be giving Luna a magnet. That's great. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Just assume it's a new viewer who doesn't know anything. Today, we're going to be giving our calf Luna a magnet. Perfect. Cows always seem to notice when something's different. You're doing something that's not scheduled and then they'll give you a hard time about it. With her, she's easy to halt her in the morning when she's waiting for mama to come in. But now it's kind of off schedule. She does, she's like, this isn't what we do right now. I don't want to get haltered right now. I don't mind. You can run and run and run all you want, that's fine. Don't get bored. Run around. Go. She'll run and run and run and run and run. And she, what she knows is I'm still gonna hold to her no matter how far or fast she tries to run. What's up, buddy? She wants that? Yeah. Let Grandma give it to you. What? Grandma give it to you. Yeah. Where did she go? Yeah, I got muddy. Where did, where did that come from? 
and then you no. ask. So I'm gonna give you candy. Yeah. Nice. Ready? Hey, you won't need me for this? I don't think so. Magnets are a necessary thing for your cows to have. They prevent hardware disease in your cows. Hardware disease is when the cow will be grazing in the pasture or anywhere and they'll pick up a nail. They'll swallow the nail. It'll go through their stomach and get into the heart. It can pierce their heart and kill them. What a magnet does is it will stay inside the cow and it will attract those nails, those screws, those pieces of metal onto the magnet so they can't migrate to another part of the cow and cause injury and death. So today it's Luna's day to get her magnet. She'll be about a year old. Here's the pack of magnets from Tractor Supply. It's about $9.99 for the three of them. Believe me, I've read enough stories about hardware disease. This is really cheap insurance against that. We've got a balling gun or a bolus gun. If you remember the last time I used this, she was much, much smaller. <laughs> so I could straddle her and give it to her. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do this myself so Austin can film. But the magnet just goes right in here. And then when you stick that down, the left side of her mouth, over that bump in the back of her tongue, then we'll just go like that. <laughs> I don't know if I caught that. The last time we bolused her, it took, what is it, three or four tries? Hopefully it's faster. One tip I heard was after you give it, hold her throat up, make sure she swallows, let her go, and if she licks her tongue, it shows that she swallowed it. If she licks her nose, watch for her licking her nose. All right, you ready? Let me try it one more time. He is to really get it back there. Tell me when you're ready. Go for it. There we go. That should do it. Did that do it? Hmm? Let's see. <laughs> Did she lick? <laughs> huh? She mad. Did I conquer you? two tries. That's a record for us. <laughs> Something like that. What do you think, Lance? Nanny Tunes? There.
And that's why cows are suspicious when you do stuff out of normal, because <laughs> they know. <laughs> so they're like, it's not going to be something I like. I do love fall because I can start getting back to all my farming overalls. It's cool enough that I don't get too hot wearing them. These ones Austin got for me from Revive All Clothing. And I really like them. They're nice corduroy, so nice for fall. Keeps me warm on these chilly days. In fall, it's kind of my time to check everything off the list. So we got their feet done. All that stuff that's harder to do during the winter because we're in a kind of remote location for people to access. She got their feet done. Look at she just opened the gate. What are you doing? Get out of there. You don't want to be in here, do you? Trust us. We we're wrong about gremlins, you're raptors. Because we're kind of in a place that's hard to access during the winter time, it's nice to get all this stuff out of the way just in case we get storms early. So I got the magnet done, we got the hooves all done. We've got our hay delivery in. It's fall, it's, it's busy, it's still a busy season. And then winter will kind of quiet down a little bit. Pass that off the list? Check. Unless she's storing it in a cheek pouch somewhere and gonna spit it out. <laughs> Make sure she's swallowing. Do you enjoy these videos? Do you think they're worth a quarter? For just a quarter per episode, you can help us keep the show going and gain access to bonus classes, discounts, and a members-only forum. Become a Homesteady Pioneer. Learn more by clicking on that chicken.